Hey there, it's Lekka. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set up your web server on your home PC to host websites. What you would need for this is one server. And in my previous video, I told you how to set up and run one server. Now, once you have one server on your computer, you can begin. Now, after you run one server, the first thing you want to do is put it online. Left click on it, select click online. Then you want to open up your browser and you want to see if it's up and running. So you go to your address bar and type in the codes. And there we have it. You should get a page like this. Now, what I'm going to do is change the contents of the www folder within in the WAMP direction so that I won't get this this home page when I when I type in local books. Okay, just to, just to change it up. So what you're gonna do you're gonna navigate to the WAMP folder and change the content inside the WW folder. WW folder. Here I am inside the WAMP folder and all I need to do is just that folder. I already have, have a backup folder inside there. So I'll choose a string in them. And uh, when I go to localhost, it will be something different. So when I click refresh here, it should come up with something different. So as you see, I can reach here. Okay, so as the WAMP servers right now what we're gonna try what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter the machine's IP address into the into the address bar and see if the same page comes up. If you don't know how to how to if you don't know how to find out your machine's IP address, you go to command prompt and type in IP config and the IPv4 address will be your machine's IP address. So I'm just gonna type in my IP address. There have it. The next step is to port forward the, the port that will allow machines outside of your local network to access a machine. So what you want to do is want to find the port forwarding tab and then add the port. So as you see here, I already have my port added, this with server. And the port you're going to be adding is ET. The IP address you're going to be adding is the machine's IP address. So after you do that, you apply the settings and uh, it, it should immediately take effect. The next step is to get a DNS service, a free DNS service, so that you will be able to give a URL to your IP address. So when a person types in something like well whatever whatever website address you create it will be redirected to your computer. Now there are many DNS service providers out there and many free ones also so but the one I'm gonna be using is no IP so you can head over to noip.com and you're going to create an account then you're going to activate your account then you're going to come here and log in i already created my account so i'm just going to log in here and after you're going to go to click add a host and here you'll be able to create a domain name for your website. Okay, the URL with the person is going to enter to access your site. So just give it a name and an extension. I'm going to use new IP.org. And the IP address, you'll see that your IP address will already be there. Your IP address, which your ISP provides for you. Auto detects it, so you wouldn't you wouldn't need to do anything there. So 
after you do that you scroll along and click create host so after you create the host what you can do now is you can go to uh, you can download the client select forge operating system you want to put it on download and install the update client so that if you're using a machine that dynamically updates the IP address it will sync it with your account so that every time the person enters your URL it will come directly to your site so when you run the, the DNS update it will it will ask you to log in after you log in you'll see this screen and you'll be able to select the host and you'll notice that your website or your host name your DNS host name which you created will be there so you select it and click save and then every time your IP address changes it would update it so that your hosting will be able to find the site when you come now for the moment of truth we're going to enter the hosting which we created and uh, there we go it has been linked directly to my site so as you see here the hosting I created and uh, exactly what I got when I typed in the IP address from my computer or local host. So, as you can see here, it has been successfully linked. Uh, this is Derry Smith, and uh, thanks for viewing.